Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series, Case 55. Before I begin, please subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to MedEd page and support our mission in sharing knowledge free worldwide. Okay, so here we have a frontal view of the right hip, and there's an abnormality here, which is not so subtle, but let's see if people get this question. What's the most likely diagnosis here? Is this a case of heterotopic ossification, tumoral calcinosis, calcific tendinitis, or myositis ossificans? What's the most likely diagnosis here? So this is, of course, a case of calcific tendinitis. If we take a look here, we have a globular amorphous calcification adjacent to the greater trochanter. This is the site where the gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus tendons insert. So when you have globular amorphous calcification adjacent to tendons, bursa, ligaments, that's usually a case of hydroxyapatite deposition disease or calcific tendinitis. This is not a case of heterotopic ossification because if you look here, this is really globular and amorphous. There's no trabeculae in here. There's no cortex here. So this is not bone. When you have bone in an abnormal location, that's usually indicative of heterotopic ossification. Similarly, this is not myositis ossificans because that would really need a history of trauma for it to be myositis ossificans. And again, it's bone, not calcium, that's formed in myositis ossificans. And typically you have the zoning pattern in myositis ossificans where you have more mature bone peripherally and less mature bone centrally. But this is not bone, this is calcification. It's amorphous and it's globular. Tumoral calcinosis would be a consideration, but that's typically an autosomal dominant rare disease, typically seen in African-Americans, where you get much more calcification, like periarticular, you know, a lot of globular calcification, the quantity of it would be much more and not just centered at a tendon, a ligament, or a bursa. So the best answer here would be calcific tendonitis, as you see in this case. This is a common cause of pain, particularly around the shoulder and the hip. The shoulder is the most common place to get it. The hip would be the second most common place to get it, um, which as you see here in the gluteal tendons. In the shoulder, it's usually related to rotator cuff calcific tendonitis of the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, or subscapularis. This is very common in those that are between the ages of 40 and 60 years of age. Females get this more than males, but that's not to say that a 70-year-old couldn't get it or even a 80-year-old male. Uh, we see this in all age groups, but definitely between the ages of 40 and 60, it's most common. And the key really is this globular amorphous calcification that doesn't have bone, doesn't have trabeculae in it, doesn't have a uh, cortical margin to it, right? And the location is also key around tendons, ligaments, bursae, particularly around the greater tuberosity of the shoulder and the greater trochanter of the hip. Those are the by far the two most common places we get it, but it can certainly be in the pelvis too, along the ischial tuberosities, the pubic symphysis, et cetera. So again, the shoulder is the most common location followed by the hip. Now this is usually treated conservatively with NSAIDs, you know, physiotherapy, things like that. But in radiology, we can actually offer an ultrasound guided lavage and aspiration. I've done this before. I've done this several times on patients and this is very well received where you literally, you know, use ultrasound to localize the calcification, you know, inject steroid, break up the calcification with a to and throw motion and aspirate the calcium into a syringe. And then we often, after we're done that, we inject steroid again as we come out to prevent an iatrogenic subacromial cell deltoid bursitis. So this is very well received. Uh, patients, you know, leave feeling very relieved after the procedure. And it's a great, you know, minimally invasive procedure that we can offer in musculoskeletal imaging or interventional radiology to treat calcific tendonitis. So thank you so much for your attention. Tune in next week for another MSK unknown case.